Today's devotional I'm calling Think on These Things. When I go to the Lord in prayer, often one of the very first things I do is I quote a particular verse from the Bible. It's found in Psalm 19, verse 14, and it goes like this. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. I just think it's so important. It's a reminder to me. It's a prayer asking God to help me make sure that the things that are in my heart and then, of course, the things that come out of my mouth are pleasing to Him. Nothing comes out of my mouth that doesn't first start in my heart. That's where it all begins. We also read in Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23, Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it springs the issues of life. Your heart is like a reservoir. That's where everything is held, whether it's life and blessing or whether it's death and cursing. Those are the things, those are the choices that we have. And I want that reservoir to have pure water. I want it to have the pure truth of God's Word in it. So be careful what you put in there. Be careful about the voices that you listen to and the things that you allow to take root in your heart. The Apostle Paul said in Philippians chapter 4, verse 8, he said, Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. Philippians 4, 8. There are so many voices out there, especially in these days that we're in right now. So many voices. I want to make sure that the things that I'm allowing to settle and take root in my heart are things that come from God, things that represent His truth, His heart, His desire, with all those voices out there. You know, I was thinking about the uh, Casting Crown song that's called The Voice of Truth, and I was looking at the lyrics, and uh, they go like this. But the waves are calling out my name, and they laugh at me, reminding me of all the times I've tried before and failed. The waves, they keep on telling me time and time again, boy, you'll never win. But the voice of truth tells me a different story. The voice of truth says, do not be afraid. The voice of truth says, this is for my glory. Out of all the voices calling out to me, I will choose to listen and believe the voice of truth. What great words and what a great message and a great reminder to us. Let's make sure that the things that we're thinking about are true, that they come from God, that they're from God's heart, that they're from God's word. I want the voice of truth to be what I'm taking in and letting take root in my heart. The Bible talks about having a pure heart. Jesus said, wherever your treasure is, that's where your heart will be also. That's where the reservoir of life is. So we've got to make sure that we're filling it with the pure living water of God's word and God's truth. This is not just the power of positive thinking. It's, lo it's so much more than that. It's having God's thoughts and God's heart planted deep within our heart. And that's going to make all the difference in the world. I hope this is an encouragement to you, and I hope you have a great day. God bless you.